So, answer will be the number of particles with enough energy to decompose increases. Because when you use catalyst, active energy move to the left hand side. When it move left hand side, more molecules acquire energy greater than activation energy. Because previous molecules are this number of molecules, then if activation energy move left hand side, number of particles with enough energy to decompose increases. I mean number of particles with enough energy increases. Before you, if you don't use catalyst, this molecule have enough, have enough energy to react. But if you use catalyst, activation energy move to left hand side. Now the number of particles with enough energy to decompose increases. Next 16, which statement is correct? When phosphorus 5 chloride is added to water, the resulting solution conduct electricity. D is the right answer. You, you know, phosphorus 5 chloride means PCl5. When PCl5 reacts with water, Phosphorus pentachloride reacts with water to form phosphoric acid plus hydrochloric acid. So here hydrogen ion produce and chloride ion produce here hydrogen ion and phosphate ion is formed phosphate ion form. As ions form, so they can conduct electricity easily. That's why answer is D. When phosphorus 5 chloride is added to water, the resulting solution conduct electricity as the acid forms ions. Next, a mix 17. A mixture of calcium carbonate, calcium nitrate, strontium carbonate and strontium nitrate is thermally decomposed. In decomposition reaction of each substance goes to completion, each substance is an anhydrous, no water, anhydrous. How many different products are formed? Answer is B. Five different products are formed when this compound decomposes, thermally decomposes. How you will get your answer? You see calcium carbonate decompose to form calcium oxide, carbon dioxide. Calcium nitrate decompose to produce calcium oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. Strontium carbonate gives strontium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Strontium nitrate gives strontium oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. So, if you count, you will get different five different product. One is calcium oxide, two is carbon dioxide, three nitrogen dioxide, four strontium oxide, and five oxygen. Carbon dioxide this common. So there are five different product is formed: calcium oxide one, carbon dioxide two, nitrogen dioxide three, oxygen four, strontium oxide. Five, five different product you will get. So answer will be B. Number 18. W is solid that reacts with water to produce an alkaline solution. So alkali solution means acidic metal oxide, basic oxide dissolve in water to form alkali solution. The addition of two drops of dilute sulfuric acid to this alkaline solution produces a white precipitate which could be the identity of solid W. That will be barium oxide because barium oxide 
reacts with water to produce alkaline solution barium hydroxide this is the barium hydroxide is soluble solubility of group 2 hydroxide down the group increases so barium hydroxide is soluble and this is alkaline solution as hydroxide ion is formed now if you add if you add sulfuric acid H2SO4 so barium ion reacts with sulfate ion to produce barium sulfate barium sulfate is a white precipitate to produce a white precipitate so what could be the identity of solid w so solid w will, will be barium oxide because barium oxide reacts with water to produce barium hydroxide which is soluble and alkaline solution then if you add two drops of sulfuric acid to this alkaline solution barium ion reacts with sulfate ion to produce white precipitate of barium sulfate this is the white precipitate so magnesium hydroxide it is insoluble and if you add magnesium hydroxide partially soluble so if you add sulfuric acid magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate is soluble no white precipitate then magnesium oxide same magnesium hydroxide is formed magnesium sulfate will be formed this is not white precipitate phosphorus oxide is acidic oxide they will react with water to form acidic solution not alkaline solution so c is the right answer now 19 chlorine gas is reacted with cold aqueous sodium hydroxide which statement is correct for this reaction chlorine is both oxidized and reduced you know chlorine reacts with sodium hydroxide what will be the product sodium chloride plus sodium chlorate one naclo NaClO plus water so chlorine oxygen number here zero element oxygen number zero here minus one sodium chloride here minus one and sodium chloride here chlorine oxy oxidation number plus one so chlorine zero to zero to minus one reduce and 0 to plus 1 oxidize so a is the right answer chlorine is both oxidized and reduced next 20 sodium is added to water to form a solution y if you add sodium reacts with water sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas the pH of solution y is measured as it is alkali ph will be more when when powdered substance x is added to solution y the ph falls which two compounds could be could each be substance x which two substance could be x and you see answer will be a magnesium chloride sodium reacts with water to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen this is alkaline gas and if you add magnesium chloride so magnesium ion reacts with hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide is formed some hydro some hydroxide ion is lost so ph will be fall and aluminium hydroxide if you add more sodium hydroxide they will form al os whole for minus aluminate ion so hydroxide ion concentration will be less 
and P is false. That why P is false. So answer is A is there. Right. Thank you.